We've just received some discouraging news from Terran Command pilots. At 0300 today, after the captured Tyrannus was towed to Tombaugh installation in the Ribo system, the Sheevan staged a major ambush. There isn't a lot of confirmation from the footage yet, but it's clear that a Sheevan destroyer of massive proportions jumped in and destroyed Tombaugh station, along with all of its defenses. We have designated this new class of destroyer, Lucifer. Debris from the station is still falling from orbit on Ribos 4. Terran and Vasudan fighters and cruisers engaged the Lucifer and were wiped out quickly. Footage suggests that the Lucifer was using a new type of shield, impervious to any of our attacks. Needless to say, this is grim news. If the Sheevans indeed have managed to shield a vessel of that magnitude, it's merely a matter of time before they wipe out all frontline installations and march through to our home systems. Since all attempts at communication with the Sheevans have ended in violence, it appears unlikely that a diplomatic solution will work. At this point, the Sheevans have control of Beta Cygni, Betelgeuse, Ross-128, Ikea, and Regulus. Most of the Vasudan forces are gathering in Vega for a counter-strike, while we are gathering our fleet in Antares for an effort to retake Ribos and Beta Cygni. Oddly enough, the Sheevans don't seem to be interested in taking control of any planets in the systems or gathering natural resources. Instead, they seem to be focused on controlling individual jump nodes. Research and development teams at Seoul have recently completed development on a few new weapons. A group of Terran scientists has returned from a previously unexplored system known as Alaramus bring with them a new weapon called the Flail. The Flail is quite different from our typical energy cannons. Please consult the weapons database in the tech room for more details. Our communications with Vasudan technicians have yielded the Interceptor missile. By combining the Vasudan-designed engine with a Terran warhead, we were able to produce the most powerful anti-fighter weapon yet. It's an aspect-seeking missile and requires a few seconds to lock onto the enemy's engine signature, but its speed and accuracy make it lethal. Use it well. The survivors of the Tombaugh attack must be evacuated from the Ribos system immediately. We do not have sufficient firepower to retake Ribos at this time. Your wing's objective is to escort the IOTA transports. Other wings will be accompanying this convoy. Alpha Wing will be in charge of this operation and will have command authority. The convoy must reach the designated checkpoint. Escort from this point onward will be provided by Allied Vasudan forces, led by the PVD Pinnacle. Hostile forces have been spotted all over this system, and there is a good chance that our convoy will be attacked by Sheevan fighters. All hostile forces should be eliminated. The PVD Pinnacle will be arriving at the designated checkpoint. This Typhon-class destroyer has one of the most skilled crews in the PVE. It will escort the refugees for the remainder of their journey. Help the Pinnacle until it has dismissed you, then return to base. Many lives depend on this operation. Good luck.
requesting assistance. Shivan forces hit our wing. We have taken severe hull damage. Heads up! We've got visitors! I'm on it. On your toes. There could be more.
Congratulations. Your achievements have been noted, and you are duly awarded the rank Lieutenant Junior Grade. Great job, Alpha One. You managed to save all three of the IOTA transports from the Shivan attacks. We were told by the crew of the Pinnacle to congratulate you on a job well done. The civilians on those transports owe you their lives as well. The GTS Asimov and the GTC Ravage are under attack in the Antari system. The GTS Asimov was working on Project Tsunami, which involves hyperactive substances. These substances are extremely volatile. If the Asimov is destroyed, the reagents are likely to reach critical mass. Analysis predicts a shockwave of up to 5 kilometers in radius. The station is in bad shape. We need to clear the area, then transport the scientists out of there. When the area is secure, the GTT Spawner will jump in and retrieve the scientists. After they have been safely evacuated, return to base. We have five ships waiting in the hangar. We have no time to get them fully loaded out, so you'll need to use what you've got. Suit up. You're launching in two minutes.
Great job, pilot. You managed to protect the Asimov. All the data for Project Tsunami has been secured, and it should be completed within days. The crew of the GTC Ravage thanks you for saving their lives. The Shivans will find their assault on Antares far more difficult with the Ravage on board. For saving the crew of the GTC Ravage, we are awarding you the Medal of Conspicuous Gallantry.